My name is Katherine Roberts and I'm the CEO of Ecumen. Ecumen is one of the state's largest providers of services to seniors and we're about 150 years old. We are sponsored by the ELCA and our sweet spot we would say for services is serving people in rural communities. My name is Sharon St. Mary and I'm an executive director with the Good Samaritan Society here in Stillwater which is a 109 bed facility. I'm also an executive director at a facility in Minneapolis called University Specialty Center. That's a 205 bed facility. Being able to provide the kind of care that, um, that the people who come into our facilities require involves a, a team of people. It's not a one-person job, and what, the way we have it right now is not sustainable. We have um, uh, the government controlling uh, how it is that we can raise our revenues, and, and as the government runs into fiscal difficulties, then where they turn first is let's let's see how we can uh, reduce our spending in health care. In order to provide the kind of care that you and I want, we really need to make sure that we have the funding available to do that. And we need to make some sustainable and some significant changes in how we do that. Um, whether that be incentivizing people to save for their own care in the future, um, whether that be uh, creating some type of a, a, a long-term care um, trust fund. Uh, I think a national insurance trust is one of the most promising solutions for this conundrum because really, what it does is it says to you and me and to, and to our kids that you have an obligation to really pay for services as you age. And we know by looking at the actuarial tables that it can save the state 40 to 60 percent in its Medicaid expenses. Every legislator has a stake in the ground. They have a relative that's being taken care of. They have friends who are employees of the care center that's in their community. This is re it's really a difficult problem. I know they are in a terrible spot this year uh, with this historic deficit. It's, I, I, I am so grateful they're there and I would not want to be in their shoes. They have an immediate, immediate problem that re really requires immediate solution. On the other hand, it is their moral imperative to look to the future and get us out of this circumstance recurring. And so while they must deal with the immediacy, they have to be looking at long-range solutions. My personal expectation is that they will step up and work on the problem as difficult as it is. They must do it. It's, what they, it's really what we have charged them to do. And uh, as hard as it is, they have to do it. Mm -hmm.